So here in Final Cut Pro, we're going to have a look at how we add lower third titles to our timeline and a couple of things you need to consider when you're working with lower thirds. So we'll come across on the top left to our type and generators panel um, and we're going to go into the lower thirds options. Now, like other titles that you're using in Final Cut Pro, the one thing that's really different about lower thirds, if we come to something like the information bar and drop it down to our timeline, is that we have more than one text block now on our timeline and in this text generator. So if we click on one of these, um, then which we have to do to edit it, um, then we can edit that block of type. And then if we click on the next block of type, we can edit the next block of type. If we don't have either of them selected, then we'll get the overall uh, type size and type options and font um, options for both those uh, blocks of type. Um, but we won't get the the ability to edit them, we actually have to come into our image here, select those areas of type to edit them. Um, also in the type option here, we have some options in this type generator um, for a build in and a build out. So like with many templates that are built in Apple Motion, um, we have a little bit of an animation at the beginning of our type, which we can see here if we play it again. And we have the option here in Final Cut Pro to turn that off or to turn it on so we can have that on or off and we also have some other options within this lower third and this will vary from text generator to text generator depending on which one you're using so if we grab another text generator we'll drop it down to the timeline and we hover over it you can see now we have a different set of options so depending on which text generator we're working with we're going to get different options um, for each of those of the text generator itself before we even get to actually editing the text. Now with this second lower third that I've added, you can see that before I can edit the text, I need to move through that lower third to actually find the two text boxes that I can select. So there's another kind of layer of uh, options there. So we have to play through or scrub through that beginning part of the animation and then pause it. And then we can grab the two parts of that lower third um, to modify. And we have all the same options um, for each of those blocks of type that we have with other elements of text. So we can change the font, um, we can change the, the font face, the font color uh, down here um, by opening this up. So we can pick out a, a different color for our, our text here. But the key difference between the, the basic type that you may have used before in Final Cut Pro is that we do have these two options to select here and in other text generators you'll get more than two options to select so if we come back to the the t option here the published parameters option you can see here i can also modify the the line color here too so this makes it a little easier to modify the text because it's been built in um, to the generator so i can modify it here or in my text options and I can also modify the, the line size here as well so you can see I've got some options for modifying elements of my text that I can also do within the text inspector here um, but the one thing I do have to do if I want to do it up in the inspector is um, modify my text here so I can select one of these and type in a name and type in the description and that's the easiest way I normally find to modify my text. I can actually double click in the timeline too, um, but I prefer to do it up in the inspector. It gives me a little bit more control, I feel, when I'm working with it. Um, when we are modifying our text here in our generator, we can use these arrows to move through the different elements of text that we're working with. So let's come back to our previous text generator. We haven't modified the text here. If we come back to the generator option here, you'll also see we have some options um, for the line size here and also for the bar length. So we can lengthen this out if we have longer text that we're adding there. And also for the, the bar color as well. So we can modify uh, the color that we have at the bottom here for our bar. So we can flip this bar color um, through any color we want. Uh, make sure we have a nice contrast with uh, the background there. And then we can also modify the text color on those two different lines as well. So if we want to have different color text for both those lines, we can modify 
that um, within these two align options that we have here. So recapping, um, we have two text generators here. We have to be hovering over the part of our text with our text selected on the timeline to be able to modify the text here. Um, and we also um, have in each of our different generators different published parameters that we can work with in Final Cut Pro. Also on a couple of these generators as well you can see we have some options to keyframe things as well so you can have your animation mixed in with the animation that's already on the timeline. So we've got things like the line size we can keyframe that size um, and then also the color we can keyframe um, in here as well. One other thing with the generators is if we right click we can open a copy of that generator in Apple Motion which means that we can then go and modify that in Apple Motion. So if we're going to add our own colors or our own branding to the default um, for this particular generator then we can do that um, as well if you have Apple Motion installed on your system. So that's a brief overview of working with lower third generators um, in Final Cut Pro 10. And if you have any questions, then please do feel free to leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.